This video is sponsored by Chewy. Get 30% off your first auto ship order and free shipping on orders over $49. Click the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all of our videos. Today, we're going to talk about the differences between turtles and tortoises. They might look the same from a distance, but after this video, you'll be able to tell the difference every time. Let's talk about the main difference in the two species. Very simply put, turtles are mostly aquatic, meaning they live most of their life in the water, and tortoises are terrestrial, meaning they live most of their life on land. Now this isn't always the case, like for example, box turtles are turtles, but spend most of their life on land. We'll cover that later. First, let's take a look at some easy to spot physical differences between the two species. Tortoises have more round feet, kind of like an elephant or dinosaur, built for traveling on land. Turtles, though, will mostly have webbed feet like a duck with claws, or flippers built for swimming. Another easy way to tell the difference from a quick glance is the shell. All turtles and tortoises have shells whether they are hard or soft, but they are not all the same shape. Most tortoises have a tall round shell, where most turtles have slimmer, more aerodynamic shells. That way they can move around the water faster and more efficient. Now there are always exceptions to these rules, like the pancake tortoise has a very flat shell named after, you guessed it, a pancake. But it's still a tortoise. Also, box turtles don't have webbed feet, flippers, or the round dinosaur feet like tortoises have. They have their own unique stub with claws. These two physical attribute tips are just for quickly identifying the species you are looking at if it has a specific feature. Let's talk about personality and instincts. Tortoises and turtles are very different in the way their brain works. Turtles, first off, are for the most part predators, and tortoises are for the most part herbivores. Turtles eat a variety of fish, snails, bugs, worms, etc., etc., where tortoises eat mostly leaves, grass, fruit, and crops. This difference makes turtles and tortoises react differently to different situations they may encounter. For example, if a wild tortoise, which is a herbivore, meets a human, they will most likely pull themselves into their shell and wait it out until they feel safe to move around again. Turtles, on the other hand, will a lot of times run away or even try to bite you. They will still use their shell as protection sometimes, but from our experience, turtles will either try to attack or run away from a human. Now let's cover another topic people often get confused about with turtles and tortoises. Ask yourself, have you ever heard someone say something along the lines of, you're as slow as a turtle, or something to that effect? Well now you can come back at them with some knowledge. Turtles are actually quite the opposite of slow. Think about it. Turtles catch and eat fish. If they were slow, they would never be able to catch dinner. Tortoises are much, much slower in their movements, which is why the tail is the tortoise and the hare, not the turtle and the hare. We might even be coming up with a turtle versus tortoise Olympics video in the future to show the difference in the two, so make sure to subscribe so you can watch it when it comes out. Lastly, let's cover the difference in captive care. We've made videos on tortoise care, box turtle care, and setup of a turtle enclosure. Tortoises, like I said at the beginning, are terrestrial species, so they require plenty of room to walk around and wander. Our sulcatas are still babies and only have an indoor enclosure still, but it keeps them safe and in a much more controlled environment for growing. Since it is winter, our redfoot tortoise is also inside where it's warm. They both have a lot of space to walk and explore for their size. The substrate, which is the ground of the enclosures, are a mixture of dirt, mulch with zero chemicals on them, and sphagnum moss. They always have water available for drinks and bathing. They also have a heat lamp and multiple UV lights, which gives off the same nutrients as the sun. Turtles, on the other hand, live mostly in water. We have one western painted turtle and a 65 gallon aquarium with a custom built platform on top of the tank. The substrate in this enclosure is river rock. It has a heater to keep the water warm and a filter to keep the water moving and clear. The platform on top of the aquarium, or better known as a basking platform, 
is very, very important to have when keeping a turtle. This is where the heat lamp and UV light are. Turtles will spend a lot of time actually out of the water soaking in the sun to get all of the nutrients they need to grow big and strong. Box turtles are the special ones that we have. They are turtles, but they live more like tortoises. They live in the same enclosure as our redfoot tortoise with a fence separating them, but have a large water bowl and a rock to climb and trim their nails and beaks on. We have an amazing DIY turtle table outside that we keep them in in the spring through fall. But since it's winter, they live inside so there's no risk of them getting too cold. We hope you learned something new today and enjoyed the video. Follow our Instagram at RealJCAnimals to get behind the scenes videos and pictures of all of our animals. And as always, we'll see you all in our next animal adventure.